This is a short video demonstration about Program Express, a web-based portfolio program and project reporting, or what some may call a light PPM solution, uh, where our aim is to automate project reporting, replace labor-intensive uh, manual processes with a quick-to-implement, simple and intuitive, cost-effective solution. So as a result, uh, we will uh, record a short video demonstration of Program Express, which you'll see here we're using one of our demo systems. Each client would have their own URL, and the demonstration is for eShop World, where on the login page we apply um, the logo, and within the application we apply the color palettes uh, and brand identity for uh, eShop World. So we're going to log on as an administrator, and you can be an administrator, a right access user, or a read-only user. And this will take us to our new home page. And what, what, within the home page, if we open up the portfolio, the programs, we'll see the projects that sit within the structure. This is a purely a demo structure. Um, each client creates their own uh, structure of portfolios and programs, and as many levels and sub-levels as you require. But from this page, um, you can see quite a lot of information, either through the uh, online screen, where we can see using the red, amber, green methodology, the health of the project broken down by the modules, shown here as icons, better described as commentary, plan, resources, cost, benefits, impacts, risks, and logs. So you can view uh, data through the online screen and drilling down, or you can run reports, either reports that you've set up uh, personally, or you can run reports that have been shared by probably the central projects team, the PMO, the program office. Now, Program Express is very much about uh, simple input and powerful output in terms of project, consolidated program, and portfolio reporting. So in terms of the simple input, a user would have a different view because we can filter their role so that they do not see all the projects and all the modules that they don't need to see. So very quickly, we'll log on with the user experience of a project manager who will log on to the same home screen, but now a filtered view, which will just show the projects they have right access to, and they can toggle between write and read and all. Um, and just the modules, they're to update. In this case, commentary, plan, costs, and risks. So from a project manager's perspective, they will go and update their narrative, which as you'll see here, they can see what, what they said before, achieve last period, focus for next period, decisions and escalations. These are all configurable commentary threads based on what you require. So the project manager will make their latest update, and then they will move onto the next screen, the planning screen, and they'll have a look at the current plan. They'll see what they need to amend and update. Then they'll move through to the cost screen. Again, have a look at the uh, forecast against the original and see if there are any cost items that need to be added um, or actuals or the forecast needs to be amended. And they'll move through to their risk register and again, make any additions, changes to the risk register. Now, when a project manager has made their updates, they're more than likely going to want to see what the data looks like in, in a report. So if they open up my reports, one that they've set up, a one-page summary PPT is one example of a project report, which is very PowerPoint compliant because it drops light nicely as an image in PowerPoint. And what we'll see here is plan on a page, the project, some RAG information, your key milestones, some financial information in terms of uh, cost and benefit, and the commentary threads that have been configured for this report. So as simple as that for the project manager, and if every project manager is doing the same, then we've got powerful data in terms of uh, real-time updates, and then the administrator or the central projects team can go back in, back to the screen that we were in before, And we'll open up the programs and projects, confident that everybody's made their updates. 
we can see the health will probably be on to reds and we can start to filter out greens filter out umbers and we can start to then if we want to drill down into the screens and find out why um, the project is red from that perspective so if we click on project 1c we'll see here that costs are red why are they red click and we'll drill down into the screen which shows us the cost item that the forecast exceeds the budget or the planned cost um, out of tolerance and therefore a red status and then uh, can do the same for any project and any module more likely the administrator is going to want to start running some reports now i showed you a project report uh, the power of program express is in the program reporting and the consolidation and aggregation if i went right up to the top level and this will start to run reports against every program and project within the organization real time no consolidation required um, i'll go to my shared reports this time I'll run a reg status summary, which is a bit um, of an Excel looking summary report, saves crashing all the project data and summarizing into an Excel. And you'll see here we've got all the programs, projects, the columns that we've configured for this report, and we can configure and change the different types of columns. That's what we'd probably call our weekly flash report, available on a Monday, so you can have a look at a quick health of everything and at maybe any decisions and escalations. Uh, required. Another example of a report consolidator would be a Gantt chart report. Running from the top again, the portfolio, we can now see the plan for every single program and every single project using the Gantt chart view. And we use um, the red, amber, green theme for our taskbars, where red means it's missed today's date, and amber means it's forecasting to be later than what was expected by the governance committee, the steering group. As the project manager is now flagging it up, it shows us Amber has not missed the current date, um, but it's um, later than forecast. Or maybe using the same data in a different view milestone summary, a higher level view of the timeline. And here we can see again every project, and we can it will show us um, the grade completed milestones, the health of the milestones that are outstanding in terms of red, amber, green, and what's expected to be delivered uh, within a period at a very high level. One more report may be a resource usage summary. So resources are entered into the system, allocated to the plan tasks within the project. And again, Excel starts a simple view of your resource uh, pipeline or your forecast and it will show us um, your resources, what projects they're working on, number of days in a period, what that aggregates up to over a period, shows us anybody that's um, out of tolerance, they've been over allocated, um, and depending on the, uh, uh, the amount of allocation will depend on whether it's red or whether it's uh, amber. And that really is uh, just giving a view of the simple data inputs and the powerful output, but, but it's real time. It's a very accessible uh, web projects uh, website. Um, so having seen that, if there's a potential requirement, you'd like to get in touch, you can see the contact details here and the call to action potentially um, could be to arrange a webinar, show fuller functionality, a uh, face to face meeting, which is preferable, or to plan uh, a pilot implementation. Thank you very much for watching.